Hey guys, L up here. So I'm working on this track, right? And when I did the export video just a few hours ago, <laughs> I I kind of saw another way or another approach to it when exporting something and how you can use it. You know, I, I came across something, something I want to achieve here, which is the, the, the tape stop effect here. Now, I have two different bass lines. Well, it's not two different bass lines, but it's it's two two different bass bass sounds. This is more so your your bass that comes from Razor, which is the wide wonky sub. So that's what that is. But then I also have a uh, 808 kick bass sound coming from Battery Four, which I created myself. Well, I didn't create it myself, but you know. I did a lot of adjustments to get it to do what I needed to do. So it's the Kick Miami 8, which is which is a sample inside of Battery 4. It comes with Battery 4. So essentially, they sound a little bit different from each other. But if I was to go from here, I needed some type of transition or something to kind of say, hey, you know, kind of trick the ear to believe that it's almost the same bass style. But um, if I leave it going like this, just straight across, you'll definitely notice the difference like you was able to hear. I don't know if you was able to hear that, but I could definitely tell the difference. And it sounded boring. It sounded like, oh, okay, he wanted to just use a different bass sound. So what I want to do is, uh, and this this has a lot to do with the, um, the way it sounds coming from, like, say, like your laptop or some cheap speakers versus a powerful system you know that costs a little bit more money so i mean you'll definitely notice the difference but what i wanted to do is uh like i said i was doing i was messing around with that uh the exporting function here and so i was thinking hmm, what if i was to go ahead and export this between the loop so i want to go between the, the first verse which is the ninth bar and the um, 16th bar and I'm going to go for the wave here, the wave file. And as far as where it should say, that's, I guess that's fine. But I want to label this as, I don't know, tape stop. Let's label it tape stop effects. And I want my, my bit rate absolutely 24 and 48, that's fine because I believe the session is in 48. Okay, so let's go ahead and bounce this. But this time, we're going to import back into the track. You know, I, I, I want to take advantage of that. So let's do that. That's fast, by the way. That's pretty awesome. So let's solo that. Cool, cool, cool. So now... Instead of putting effects on everything or sending everything to effects, you know, in order to achieve this process, and I, I'm going to say you have to kind of have a great idea as to what you want the song to sound like, because at this point, I've bounced out everything. But I think it don't matter that much, because what I'm going to do is cut back these other, everything that's coming mm, I say maybe the mid-16 bars, so probably like 16 point three is when i'll cut some things and let this one play out but we're going to right click on this and we're going to send this to um sample the sample one send it to sample one all right so now when i play on my keyboard this is a sampler and i'm going to take advantage of some things that i want to do let's unsolo this track here <laughs> Okay, so at the middle C is playing the song at the original speed. Sounds pretty hot. Yeah, that's pretty hot. There we go. Sounds a lot better. Now, this is what I want to do. And I'm going to probably just mute this here. Because I just only want to play... That's pretty cool. I can actually end the song like that. So I need to do like this. 
something. I don't know. I'm just I'm just opening up some ideas for you guys. You, you just never know. All right, so let's see if I can remember how to do this because I haven't did this in a while. I did a video on this a while back about how to about how to get that tape stock um, uh, feature, but I believe. Uh, as far as the range, let's go with 24. I think it's 24. Let's 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 go with that. And you must absolutely you, you have to um, open the um, the piano roll here. And so we are like more so at the the 16 bar down here somewhere. So we're gonna get a little bit more real estate. Bring it up some. And I want to say that the pitch bend is what's going to slow this thing down so we're already in pitch bend and i'm going to take a node here and put another node right here and let's see what happens i don't know if i want to do that but let's just see what happens so let's put okay so is that the um c3 here so we're going to put a we're going to draw in okay that's the note we want to go for please excuse my background if you hear a bunch of noise i got the window open and that breeze is man awesome right now so you know all right let's let's see what happens Okay, my space bar don't want to work. All right. So I have to, first of all, I have to dial back on everything. So let's say, let's say we go and just select all of this here. Um, is that right? Yeah. No. I just want to select it. I don't, I don't. Let's, let's, let's zoom in some here so we can see what's going on. Okay. So this is, this is what I want to delete. Okay, cool. So. This, uh, this last base line here, I'm going to take that out. Or, or just yeah come back some just a tad bit right, let's see what happens let's see let's see if this works the way I want it Woo. okay let's okay so this is what's going on that sounded pretty good by the way Everything is going the way that I planned. Okay. And um all right. So what I did was obviously I came back too far. I started it early. So let's go for sixteen point three and let's bring my node here. And let's see how that plays. Yeah. Let's listen to that again. I like that. Actually, actually, this is this is what I want to do, and I'm glad I'm doing this with you guys, just so you can see what I'm what I'm doing, because I actually started it over right here at the moment I hit this. What I should have did was brought this all the way back to nine. All right, that's this is the correct way of doing it, because I bounced down from nine to sixteen, so I want the song sample wise to actually follow all the way through and i think what i'm going to do is actually mute everything here and then bring it up here that's 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 what i'm thinking that i want to do and i could do it two ways i can actually have my volume going you know up and down right or, or just have my mute i'd rather have my mute just in case i need to adjust the volume and you know, I mean, need to make it louder or softer. You know, I don't want to have have to, you know, I don't want to have to compromise my volume knob. 
or I could just add the the gain knob here, the gain plugin as uh, yeah, the gain plugin. <laughs> Trying to get it all out. All right, but I think I don't know. The only thing that will stop me from using the mute button is. You know what? I think I'm going to use the game because I don't want it to be muted and I will think that it's muted. You know what I'm saying? Because when I go through these tracks, I automatically assume that they are muted. So I'm not going to use the mute like like that. So let's, let's just go for the game. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. It's not called the game. It's called the mix tool. I'm just so used to... That's what Logic call it, the game. The game uh, plugin. But it's the mix tool. And see, that's the thing. Everything is a little bit different in Studio One, so you just have to learn that, you know, once you just learn the different names to what most of them are similar to, you know, this is the mix tool, which is also the gain, because, you know, you have your gain knob right here. All right, so what I want to do, I'm going to press on it, and if you notice, it changes up here for my automation, so I'm going to grab this hand. And place it on this gain or no not i'm going to place it place it on the actual track there we go so now we have it looks like a little dot to any case that is being auto automatic or whatever or i could have turned this you know touch on and kind of did it manually like that but i'd rather kind of dial it in so so what we're going to do here, uh, we already in our game. All right. So we're going to create a a node right there, another node right here. And we're going to bring that down. See, I love how that trim tool is just, it's just available. And it just makes it, <laughs> it just makes it really convenient. Oh, my God. that's That's awesome. I love that. I really do love that. What would be even cool is if it was also available down here, like, you know, another parameter that just got added to everything else down here. Maybe maybe that's something. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's, I don't know. I thought maybe it would refresh itself if I close out of it. But anyway, <laughs> all right, so now. What I'm going to do, so you got the expand on here. Let's remove that. And it it brought in a whole preset. That's what happened there. Sounded pretty cool, though. I'm going to sort of proof myself and bring the gain out some even before the track start, just to avoid any quick insert there because I don't want that to happen so here we go now here we go let's see yeah I got a compress on it, so we're gonna kinda bring the gain up. I'm gonna I'm gonna take out that extra note. I don't care for it. I was just trying to test it out and see if I can rock with it, you know, if it is go with the groove but yeah I like that better yeah I'll let the kick do that extra kick you know right there that's cool I think I like this better I like that and I hope you guys learned something and this was pretty cool to you know I tried something new on the spot on the fly for you guys and you know just was wondering it's several ways we we can achieve this but i just you know 
It's a cool way to get into automation if you guys don't understand how automation works in, inside Studio One Three. So um, basically, all it is is if if you want to control, you can control anything, any parameter, really, really super easy. And the easy way to do it is just by every time you click on a a plugin, it automatically changes the parameters up here. This is what you're paying attention to in, in regards to plugin or or automation. That is, if I if I click on this this well, that's just that's just the singing. But say for instance, I click on this on this uh, this EQ here, and once I start touching on things, bam, that's the parameter for this. If I touch on that, it changes. So whatever you touch. It changes up here, and all you have to do is grab this hand and drag it on to the track itself, and it'll bring that parameter up. And you could do it for several several parameters. You can control and put automation on the same track. Like you can have this doing one thing, this doing something totally different, this one doing something else. You can have it all on the same track, which is pretty cool. And then it's just a matter of... Um, Hitting the arrow, I got to change back to automation here. Just hit the A, and it hits you, and you get you back to automation here. And it's just a matter of hitting the. Um, there's like a, they all pop up here actually, but they also, I believe there was like a, another. Like it's like an arrow. Let's see. Let's let's activate something else here. Say for instance, I wanted to activate this. For whatever reason i'll bring down this tool for that purpose oh yeah it is it's not an arrow but you just click on it and it'll bring up all the parameters that you have selected so it's just automatically put it on the bottom and then you can just do whatever you need to do you know that's pretty cool and then also you can if you just want to switch between things in the same if say you don't want to do that you can switch between everything here and you know kind of do your thing there but if you just want to ex expand everything out you can do just click this little thing right here and it expand everything all the way out all of your automation parameters it's pretty cool stuff here now i don't think i want to do anything with the invert left so we're going to leave that unchecked as a matter of fact we're going to remove that and I hope that helped you guys. My name is Ella. Music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.